Hello everyone, you are welcome to the third episode of the course Quick Civil Service for Beginners. In the last episode, I showed you a method of modeling, one method of modeling, and I told you that that method is best when you have equal distance um, panels, when your uh, panels are equal. So in this episode, I will be showing you another way you can model your structure in quick civil series. And that is more practical than the last method I showed you. So right now, I'll just click on file and then I can go to new project. So you can click on yes, if it is necessary. If you wish to change anything here, you can go ahead and change it. However, I'll just click on apply changes. Thank you. So right now, I will begin with my modeling. So the first thing I will do is create a rectangular panel. Basically, the most common type of panel, or what you call slab, you know, slab is when you have it, oh, then you know, panel is when you break it into um, spans like that. So right now, I'm going to pick a rectangular panel. So if you have different kind of panels, you can click on special panels. So if you have unequal, rounded, triangular, irregular polygons or regular polygons, you can use all this. But if it is a rectangular panel, then you just need to pick this. All right. So I will pick this and then I can begin at a particular position. Let me begin like um, somewhere around here, which is 3000. So I will click and then you can release. You don't need to click and drag. Okay. Then you drop it like this. Then you can have this panel. So the next thing for you to do is to um you know set the panel to the actual property you want it to have so when you click on this panel you can come to the object property here and then scroll up better still you can click on this three dots menu then you click this then you can you know scroll up and have what you see here so if you want to change the color you can see the color is blue if you want to change that but i don't think that is something that is necessary basically you just need to change um the depth of your panel this is 150 mm as we've set it in the default settings so if you still want to maintain that you can use this but if you do not want to maintain that you can change that all right so i will change the height the height is you know from here to here all right so yeah this is 2000 let me change it to something like 1850 okay and then the width which is basically from here to here the width is 3000 let's change that to 3500 okay so you can see the new um the new dimension of the panel so the next thing to do is to have another panel so i will decide to have another panel at the right of this so we have to copy this panel and we will be using this as the reference so just select this and then you right click when you right click you see reference by panel slash copy panel so when you come here you can now see copy selected to the top copy selected to the bottom copy selected to the left and copy selected to the right okay so you have these four options to work with also you have four more options you can see copy last panel copy whatever so this one is the last panel so regardless of what you pick it should just be the last panel so i will be using this so copy selected to the right and then you see panel one has been copied to the right of it so panel two you can click on it and you know, try to do some um, adjustment to that so this is 1850 let me maintain that and then let me change this from 35 to 4200 okay so sorry that's not even what i want to change not the width um it was 35 earlier 35 okay so from 1850 i'll change it to 2500 okay so i'm worried about the height not the width okay so i can have um something like this and then here let me try to copy this to the top okay something like this all right so for this let me copy this to the bottom okay selected to the bottom okay so i can have um something like this so 
anyhow you wish to model your structure you can model them like this so so when you have that i think the next thing now is to have the beams because we have the panel already so we need beams around it and then the column point so just click on create new beams slash span so it's going to create beam at every span okay so span simply means from one column point to another column point because right now we're talking about beam okay so click on this then we can you can see what we have here so you can see beam one is from this column point to this column point and then you have all of this so um for example if you look at beam seven all right beam seven we have um four we have four spans okay this is span one when i click on this you know it is a continuous beam however the span that i selected will have blue color whereas the remaining we have pink color you can see all of this color all of these beams are selected whereas the span that i clicked on is in blue color so if i click on the second span here you see the second span is what is in blue color However, the rest are still highlighted. You can see them in pink color. Whereas these ones that are not highlighted, they have um, a yellow color. So right now, what I want to do is I want to... Sorry. Let me click on the span 3. You can see span 3 is selected now. That is it in blue color. So I want to delete that span 3 and then extend span 2 up to this position. Okay. So I want to have three spans, you know. Right now, I have four spans from here. I have, this is one span. This is one span. This is another span. This is um, another span, makes it two. This is another span, makes it three. And this is another span, which makes it to be four. So I want to have three spans. I want to have one span from here. I want to have this span. Then from this position up to this position, I want to have just one span. And then I'll have another one here to make it to be three spans. So I'll click on this third span. All right, I'll click on it and delete. Then I can extend the span too. Okay, so when you click on it, just hit delete on your keyboard. Then you see you're about to delete the selected object. Are you sure you want to do this? Click on yes. As you say, you are about to delete span three from this. Please remember to redesign after deletion. Are you sure you want to do this? Then you click on yes one more time. Then it will bring you here. All right. So you can see it says action on the beam arrangement. Okay. We are working with span three right now. So it says, what do you want to do? I want to stretch span before, which is span two. So you can either stretch span two or you stretch span four. You know, you have two beams to stretch. For example, you know, if I can stretch this span two from this position up to this position, or you stretch span four from this position up to this position. So right now I want to stretch span two. But if you want to stretch span four, you click this, but that's not what I want. So I will stretch span four as span two, okay? So you click on this and you say yes. So right now we have three spans. So if I click on this, you see it is now three spans. So from this position, I have one beam. From here, I have another beam. And from here, I have another beam so that's three spans of beam all right so um i think that is um a good thing to to know right now i will copy my beam i will copy all of this to another floor okay this is the ground floor which is the foundation floor all right let's rename it to foundation all right perfect so it is foundation and you can see it's at bottom zero so I will copy it to the top. So I'll copy two more floors. So I can just go to copy floor and then I will create multiple. If I want to create just one floor at the top, you just create this. However, I want to create two floors. So you click on this. And then here, I will insert two. I will make my last roof to be roof. And then this is the dimension for the roof beam. And this is the load factors that I wish to use for it. Then you click on copy and create multiple floors. Then click on yes. Click on yes one more time. Then just wait for it to bring this. Okay, so you can see it has brought this. So when you close this, automatically you will see that your columns will be inserted at every point, every um you know column point. So you can see them. So you have them as um as simple as this. 
so this is how you can um you can achieve this if there's any column you do not want at a particular point you can actually delete it okay so um if you want to see this in 3d you can come to view and then you can check your 3d view and then you see exactly how it is in 3d view let me change this to let's say 150 or better still 175 okay so this is um good enough so this is how we have it you can remove the the top roof as i have said earlier you can remove the top roof and one more thing what if your panel in in story 2 is different from what you have at the top that should not be a problem you can always add at any time okay so you can always add at any time let's reduce i think it was in 100 before or 75 was it okay i think it was in 100 okay all right so if you wish to this is ground floor right let me go to another floor so i'm in first floor right now so if you wish to have another panel you can easily copy down what let's say for example you want to copy reference you know reference uh bottom so you can see this is now different so you can easily create spans and you know everything like that so um come to modeling okay so you can create new beams so that you can have these beams all right and then um you can create column okay so create column for o so um you will have um all of that so i think that is um a very good thing to do so what else can we do i told you in the top floor which is the roof level you might decide to you know remove the the panel so you come to um floor properties and then you click change current floor to roof panel so it will change this to roof panel click on yes and click on yes so click on apply changes all right so this is um what you will have i think this should be all for the second method of modeling so this way you can easily model perfectly to what you have and then that will be um that will be all so um watch out for the next video the next video will still be on how you can model because there are three methods of modeling so i will be showing you the third method of modeling so watch out for the next episode